What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Guess what we're doing? We're running Bloodborne on PC using Shad PS4. Now, I know you can't exactly see the window, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... So now you can actually fully see it. And if I did this and this, you'll, you'll notice that uh, there it is. There's the screen right there. There it is. I don't have another monitor to be able to do this with, so that's why we're doing it this way. So I'm going to minimize this. And as you can hear, we have audio. Let me explain a couple things real quick here for you, okay? Normally, this will render with a gray screen, but I went through the hard work of finding out which file caused the gray screen thanks to a bunch of people in the Shad PS4 Discord. And uh, we ended up fixing the problem, okay? So I went in and I narrowed it down. There was a bunch of files there. And we'll go over that here in a second. Now, as you can see, the performance is not that good. And it is good depending on where you look. If you look at your feet like this, you could totally play like this without a problem. It's performing well enough. Now, as time goes on, this will perform better. As you can see, the character is currently rendered black and uh, there's not really any shadows or any proper lighting. This is most likely due to bindless. That is a form of texture or shader that Bloodboard needs to render properly. So until they implement that, uh, nothing's really gonna be rendering fully. So your shadow and the lighting and everything like that is gonna look semi-borked, unfortunately. So, what do we do to get this not being a gray screen? Well, let's jump into that, shall we? All right, first thing we need to do is head into where your game is. And this is my current uh, title ID, as I like to call it. It should be a title ID, hopefully. And inside your DVD root underscore PS4, you're gonna find a whole bunch of stuff. And I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. I just want to zoom in, actually. Now, you'll find a, uh, a file, a folder called, well, param. So parameters. And inside of here, you're going to find this file, the m24 underscore 01 and whatever, whatever. You're going to remove this file from inside of draw parameter, okay? You're not deleting it. You're removing it, all right? Because once the game gets fixed and you no longer need a hack build, you're going to want this file because this is a text file that controls the settings or graphic settings. So removing this managed to fix the gray screen. So just put it out here or add an extension at the very end, dot back, so B-A-K, and it will not be read and it will not load. Problem solved. Now, I'm recording this on my gaming laptop, okay? I have this for uh, games like Delta. Uh, is it Delta? Could be Delta. It's not Delta. I don't know what it is. That new shooter that's free to play and also for Battlefield, okay? So I use it for both things. And... I also use it for testing Shad PS4 when I'm on the go because, I don't know, videos like this come along every now and again. Did you notice? It's being extremely slow. There we go. Oh, it won't let me through that area. So if you play like this, I mean, top down, you should be fine. And, uh... Striking with the sword seems to work okay. There's a top hat right there. Starting a new game, I'm not sure if it works or not. But if it does, you know, that's great. If it doesn't, then uh, whatever happens, happens, right? I'm going to head this way. I know nothing about this game whatsoever and where I'm supposed to go and what I'm supposed to do. One second, let me look this way. Ooh, see? Depending on where you're looking, it slows down a lot. And it's not fun. Let me try to go in here. So this is a clinic. Now, depending on where you go, it gets very bright. 
and if you leave those certain areas should be good to go so as you can see it's really struggling to load this way so again the easy fix is to just look in an easier direction or to look completely down like that looking completely down makes it playable which is nice uh, if you have a better performing CPU and GPU than my crappy laptop, then you should hopefully be able to, you know, have better performance overall. Look, I found a door. Let me look around here. Well, this area seems easier to load, which is really nice. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go and edit this up and I will see you guys next time. Uh, I will link to the build that was used. You do need to be logged into GitHub to be able to play it. Remember that. So you need to be logged into GitHub to be able to even download it. Bye, everybody. Bloodborne, non-PC, coming to a PC near you.